Yeah, for us, the responsibility. I can't imagine trying to do this.
How you doing? Chief Miracle. Chief Porteous. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Sir. Problems with the food or accommodation? Uh, accommodations are fantastic. Enjoying your time in Nova Scotia? Oh yes, it's so beautiful First here. First time here? It is, yeah. yeah. I really like the weather too. So that we're all nice and watertight. Uh, we have some vents to put on. Everybody else is going to trade. So, and uh, editor, favorite very 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 type of my life. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're all over the place. All of a sudden, they have uh, yeah. aircraft to fly. My so name is Senior Airman Joseph Morale, McKinney. What's your rank? Senior Airman. The fence, and what? Runs around inside you the fence, yeah. and it's 131st CES. CES is a civil engineering squadron. We are here at 14 Wing Greenwood uh, to assist our Canadian allies as well as getting training for all of CE members to get our five levels. Um, that's very important in civil engineering. So This is great training for me. I am a National Guardsman so I only, I'm only able to do anything with civil engineering once a month. So to come out and do something like this is, is super important for my five level because I can get um, a signature line for roofing and uh, maybe a little bit of leading because I am the only structures here today. So I, I've been leading a little bit and uh, so that helps me in my future career. Uh, my name is uh, Master Corporal Shantz Hallman. How do you spell uh, S-H-A-N-T-Z, H-A-L-L-M-A-N. I'm with uh, 14 MSS CE. Having, having our NATO allies come to the base here has been a really great experience. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Uh, it's great to learn how the other uh, militaries work and uh, what their uh, chain of command is, um, how they go about uh, doing uh, projects that uh, we have in common and that sort of thing, like the roofing that's behind me here. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a great experience just to learn that because of the fact that when we do deploy, we have to work together. Uh, quite often and it uh, it just helps that out so we're not in a stressful situation learning that and that sort of thing. 14 MSCE, um, we're uh, the con construction engineering branch of the of the wing. Uh, we take care of all maintenance um, and uh, small builds for uh, for the wing um, and we also we're also a fourth generation unit so what that means is that uh, we also uh, provide uh, members to deploy overseas to do the same job as uh, as we do here just in uh, in different countries i believe this strengthens our uh, our relationship with our uh, american allies uh, just in the fact that we get to uh, experience how they work i've been really impressed with the work ethic of uh, the various airmen that have come through on this project um, we've had three rotations here and we've had um, airmen that have had incredible experience and work like animals and then uh, we've also had airmen that have been working on the roof that, behind me here uh, that have no experience whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't deter them at all. They just, they, they give you 110% all the time uh, and very quick learners. And uh, it's just really helped to, um, to get the project moved along and uh, complete it in the, uh, in the allotted time. So it's been, it's been pretty impressive. I've been, I've been impressed. I'm glad that I was able to get this experience with, uh, with working with, uh, with the Americans on a DFT. Uh, we don't all get that experience, it only happens at air bases, so uh, when I was at a Navy base and an Army base, I didn't have that opportunity. So I'm just really glad to have, ha have, to have had that in my career. Uh, my first name is Eduardo, E-D-U-A-R-D-O, last name Vargas, V-A-R-G-A-S, I'm a captain. What unit are you with? Uh, 131st CE. Uh, 131st Civil Engineer CE Squadron uh, is participating in a two-week deployment for training here in Canada as part of the Canadian Exchange Program. And our mission here is to uh, ensure our airmen are getting uh, mission essential training completed. The training that the airmen are getting here is uh, necessary for them to upgrade level five, level seven, and there are opportunities here on this base where we are able to get those skills signed off. The 131st CE unit is a prime beef unit and we're a mobile expeditionary construction force. So we uh, are able to build and repair any facility, any airfield. I would say the CE is great for several reasons. One, the type of work that we do, uh, and the fact that uh, we can build or fix everything anywhere. Uh, but the most important thing are the people. The job can sometimes get challenging, um, and at times uh, conflicts arise, but the people that keep you in here 
um, and that's kind of why uh, we enjoy what we do. This DFT gives us an opportunity to work with our Canadian partners in a joint environment uh, where we can become familiar with their military structure, their capabilities and their limitations, and the same goes for us. They can, they can get to know us, so when we all go downrange, we know what to expect from each other. This trip, we have a lot of first-term airmen that have not had a chance to practice our trade due to COVID and other reasons. So in this DFT, uh, they are putting their skills to the test, which uh, sometimes leads to conflict or challenges, whether technical or uh, uh, attitude issues. Um, and so they're forced to work out, you know, work it out between themselves, figure it out and move forward. And in the end, that conflict is what builds a strong team that allows us to perform uh, uh, in a strong manner when we deploy downrange. Working with our Canadian partners has been um, very eye-opening. Uh, while we think Canadians and Americans are very similar, and they are in many ways, there are also some differences. Uh, they have been very generous with their time, uh, materials, and accommodations. Uh, they have also taken the time to teach our airmen um, how to do things differently from a different point of view. There's always a million ways to do certain things, and uh, being open and, uh, to other ideas can only help us in the long term. So it's been, uh, it's been great, and I look forward to more opportunities like this in the future.